Hey guys, this is a quick video on uh, the Euro. Today is February the 5th of 2013. And I just want to show you my thoughts on what's uh, going on on the price action. I want to first uh, show you this uh, chart I always start out with. This is my grid. And this is a monthly chart. And look what we have right here. If you look at my previous videos, there was resistance right here. I got short at uh, 36.17. Rode her back down and uh, again got uh, stopped out. And now it's pretty much just hovering back here at the uh, 3582. It's uh, 517 uh, central time right now. So that's the price action we have. So this is a key level to watch 3710, major resistance, monthly chart. And uh, I have an uh, uh, alert here on uh, 3439. That is my Andrews pitchfork on a monthly, which could be support. It almost you know tagged it but never uh, never got to it so it's right now hovering at this level so that's my uh, my first chart I want to show you I want to show you another chart that I have over here let me see uh, 20 let's see what we got here Oh, pretty much just reconfirming you know this was a, an angle of resistance and it just broke right through but it hit that other angle on the top so right now we just kinda of dancing around there um, I want to show you my 20 weekly time and price uh, just to confirm that this is still resistance at the uh, 4 by one angle, price and time, 37.10. It's still dancing right here. And next I want to show you is uh, my uh, 9.14 high measured move. This is where it's been pretty much dancing. Uh, my previous videos I had either support here at a 34.74 or uh, 34.54 and it was the low of 34.57 so I almost kissed it and uh, this is a measured move so this is the 1100 percent the 1200 percent and the uh, 1300 percent which is 37.11 35.83 and 34.54 and look at all the prices where it's just been hanging out so you got resistance here resistance here this is kinda like the middle ground right now uh, support here, support here, and this whole angle support, and this is time and price, and uh, pretty much that's it. So right now it's in the uh, gray area. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Price is going to determine that uh, price action. So that's that chart. I also want to show you uh, my uh, Fib and Time 20 Year, where I think uh, support would come. This is the Andrews Pitch Fork I was showing you. Uh, this price level right here, that's why I have my uh, my alert at 34.39-ish, around there. Uh, is there another chart I want to show you? Uh, oh, I want to show you something cool. My uh, monthly spiral. This is all kind of like tunnels in the air kind of stuff for me. And, uh, you know, if you're into WDGAN stuff. So look where, uh, where uh, price is uh, hovering right now. One of my spiral levels. Very interesting, huh? So something to uh, just to show you and keep note of. Uh, what else I want to show you? I think uh, I think that's pretty much it as of right now. Uh, there's nothing else I wanted to show. Let's look at the four year. If there's anything interesting? Uh, well, support at 34.65. That's the 38.2 percent, and that's where we hit the high at that uh, angle on the uh, grid. So pretty much. What's the euro going to do? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if I have the answer for that one. Uh, I just know that uh, this uh, uh, February the 11th is a new moon. Things could happen. Volatility could kick in. So I really, I, I really don't know. Uh, let's look at the big picture and uh, see if there's any clues on where this puppy could be heading. As of right now, looking at the big picture... It's bullish. Look at that monthly candle. Still high. Uh, Where's that support? Uh, let's see. That 50-day moving average is 35.14. It's still above it. Um, everything is still pointing up. Uh, looks like the uh, 5 of the CCI is trying to get together now with the uh, 50 and the 20. But, you know, we will see. Everything yellow, yellow, everything's pulling up. You got a hockey stick. So, I mean, but this is a big long term. Weekly, the uh, 356 moving average is uh, 36.34. So it's uh, above price. And the uh, 
200 uh, moving average is, I believe, right now 3529. So that is support under there. So it's kind of hovering in between these two levels if you want to go by simple moving averages. We got a cherry on the team uh, showing that there's indication of some uh, problems right here now this week. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, everything is still uh, pointing up. Uh, CCI is kind of like pointing down. It looks like the uh, 5 is kind of heading away from the uh, 20 and the 50. But it could just, you know, get right back up and get embedded. Got an arrow signal on the uh, market forecast. Uh, doesn't really mean anything. Uh, sometimes it's a hit or miss uh, indicator. But the one I watch a lot is the uh, Fisher. And we got a soap signal, I believe, uh, this week. But no arrow, so this thing is still uh, bullish. Blue bars. We got a short-term dark blue wave, so... Looks like there's some issues happening, but this is like really short term on the weekly. And uh, you can see from here on the daily that it's indicating that. And we're already negative on the 12-hour uh, chart. So pretty much monthly, weekly, daily, and the 12-hour uh, chart. In my mind, there's a five-minute, one-hour, uh, long-term, big picture. So right now, this is where we're at. On the daily, you got the new moon coming up on the 12th for all you astro uh, traders. Uh, something uh, key day to watch, see what's going to happen on the price action. We had a daily uh, red candle, and then we got a green one now. Uh, we had an arrow showing indication of it probably could have hit down, but you're still above the 20, still bullish. Everything, see the snapback on the daily, boom, boom. Two uh, cherries on the bottom now pointing back up, meaning the uh, five is going to meet up with the 50 and the 20 and probably get embedded. Who knows? Uh, you got a sell signal on the Fisher, arrows pointing down. Nothing's really pointing up to show that this thing is going to like keep going up. So once I start seeing all these arrows, you know, the blue, the yellow, the green, and the purple go up, that means we have another week of either uh, sideways action, more uptrend, or uh, I don't know. Or maybe just continue, you know, getting weaker and weaker and start selling down and just start going this way. But as of right now, you know, this is what I see on the daily. And uh, we got a bunch of blue uh, bars on the squeeze. No squeeze here yet, but just a wave indicating lower. Uh, we're still above zero on the uh, small uh, time frame wave. And if you look at the 12-hour uh, chart, you had a uh, Tom D. Mark sell signal on the ninth candle which is right here, and that's where I shorted it, and got a nice little uh, scalp, and then uh, got stopped out when it uh, bounced right back up. So it's still above the uh, 20 on the 12-hour chart, so it's still bullish. That's uh, 35.22, still pointing up. Uh, Tima gave a sell signal, and now right, it, it gave us a snapback right here. Right here, this is the snapback right here. Boom, boom, and a big one too. Look at that one right there with that arrow. So now it's all pointing right back up. Now we got the trend on the 12 hour. It looks like it's going to start pointing up. So this could be another wave up and to try that 37.10 and uh, see if we could pierce it, stick our head out above it and kind of see, hey, we're going to go higher. We're going to just chill. We're going to go sideways. Or are we just going to sell this bad boy? That is up to determination on what the price action is going to bring. As if I see smaller time wave frame, uh, brown candles, brown bars, uh, blue selling, no squeeze play yet, so this is where we're at, boys. Uh, very interesting price action today. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there saying that tomorrow could be, a, you know, this could be a head fake to the upside and that the pressure will start to uh, get stronger on the selling side tomorrow. So it's up to speculation. And pretty much, you know, I don't follow any of my advice or anything like that. I'm not a professional financial uh uh, advisor or anything like that. I'm just a type of dude that just looks at charts, indicators, and try to see the whole big picture and uh, try to make money with, you know, everybody else. So I hope uh, you enjoy this video. This is going to be interesting. Tonight I'll be waking up in the weed morning just because I want to see what the euro is going to do here. Uh, we're going to go test this up 
And if we're going to test this, what we're going to do, we're going to go higher or we're going to go lower. So I hope uh, you enjoy this video, and I'll uh, keep posting my thoughts as uh, I see things developing in the markets. I hope uh, you enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.